Assalamu alaikum everyone. A lot of uh, sister request me to sh share my mango mousse uh, the other day I made. So I thought I will do a quick video today. Uh, I'm, today I'm making chocolate mousse. I got those chocolate, um, milk chocolate. So I cut all the chocolates, uh, small pieces. I made small pieces. And I'm gonna add a double cream, little bit of double cream, or you can add single cream if, if you want. And I'm gonna cook this in the oven um, about two, two minutes. So every one minute, I'm gonna toss it. Uh, why I'm, uh, if you add um, double cream or single cream or milk, then it'll take a less time to for your chocolate to melt quickly and not gonna be burned in the microwave. So just, you need to um, melt this um, chocolate. Some people do hot boil water, uh, top of hot boil water. They put a um, uh, oven proof or um, a bowl uh, and then they mix it. So I'm doing the uh, in the oven, uh, micro oven. So here's, here's my chocolate. Uh, what? In, I only cook this chocolate with the cream only one and a half minute in my microwave and it's already soft and I add double cream because it will help me to when I'm making the mousse it will help me to blend nicely so when you're doing a mousse make sure your cream is chilled in the fridge properly uh so don't think uh you're doing something and you forget about the cream and it's been two minutes or three minutes this cream is out uh in room temperature put it back in the fridge and then do it so this um chocolate mousse is such an easy recipe uh you need only three ingredients to make this i made the other day uh, the um mango one and everybody was um, asking about the recipe so i thought let's do today chocolate one is similar uh and uh, so then i can um share the mango one as well so i'm gonna do uh i'm gonna uh, add coffee in my um chocolate mousse because i love coffee's um, nice fragrance of the coffee coffee and chocolate always go very very well so this is um, americano original uh, coffee uh, but if you don't want this coffee if you want to add any kind of coffee you can um and i'm gonna add this coffee actually in my um little bit later uh first let me whip start whipping this my um cream so when you 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 need to use a electric um blender for whipping your cream so when you're starting whipping your cream um then start from low to medium to high so i'm gonna whip this cream about two like one and a half minute and see how it's looking <laughs> I use about 280, uh, 284 ml of um, double cream for this recipe. And now after one minute of whipping the cream, I'm going to add one table, uh, teaspoon of coffee. Any coffee you can use. I really like the strong flavor. So if you want, you can add less or if you want, you can add a little bit more. So when my cream is like this, little bit um, heavy, um, now I will put the speed up. First I was doing number one, now I'm gonna do two, and after one minute I'm gonna do three. So you need to keep eye on your cream, um, how it is, and it, you, you need to speed it up to make it thick. So this is how it is now after two minute beating with the electric bitter so i need so now how my cream is you can see a little bit hard and a little bit um thick 
so now i'm gonna add um my chocolate but if you are making a uh, mango one uh, after two minutes of beating your cream add uh, caster sugar um if your cream is 284 um, ml then add two tablespoon of caster sugar uh, and one bin, uh, teaspoon of vanilla essence and i use this mango puree uh, last time so you can use this and when you adding mango when your cream is that thick little bit more little bit more thicker then you just fold you add one spoon by one spoon your mango puree and just fold it with your cream uh, this is how you make a mango mousse but today i'm making a chocolate uh, mousse so this is my chocolate uh, i'm gonna add one spoon and then i'm gonna beat it again and then i'm gonna add slowly you need to um add slowly okay now when your cream is like this hard is when you um pu uh, picking your cream and it's not falling it's li like the, this like soft it's not too hard it's not too thick how you doing when you're holding a little bit rolling down from your bowl this is ready so that time your cream is ready for your mousse don't beat anymore if you beat anymore it's going it's going to be too hard and your mousse not going to be nice so this is the perfect perfect um cream for your mousse so i just add two three tablespoon of uh, those melted chocolate uh, now I'm going to add um, more chocolate, but I'm going to keep folding uh, and uh, adding. I'm not going to beat my chocolate with my cream anymore uh, because if, you keep, if I keep beating, then uh, my cream, it will be too hard and which is I don't want it. I want that how it is now. Uh, it's a perfect um, cream for the mousse. And this is so easy. Uh, it's so delicious if you want sometimes some people do like to uh, add some lemon just uh, so if you want you can add as well um i love love just a coffee uh coffee with this flavor uh with the chocolate uh but if you want if you, you can add um something else like a lemon jets or if you want you can add vanilla and mango now i'm going to do the same process my chocolate is still melted so i'm going to add little bit just one spoon at a time and that now i'm going to keep folding This is how you should do with your mango one as well. When your cream is like that soft, you keep folding your mango. Because chocolate is so um, sweet, you don't need to add any sugar in your cream. Don't add sugar. Slowly fold. And I add uh, about this is a 300 gram of um, milk chocolate. I add 100 and, uh, 218 here with two tablespoon of double cream. I add two tablespoon of double cream and put the uh, chocolate in the microwave for uh, one and a half minute. And in every 30 second, I was keep tossing my chocolate. So my chocolate is not going to be um, burned you can do this process top of a cooker but i found it really easy to do in the microwave and you need to chill your chocolate at least uh, chocolate mousse at least um like three hours in the fridge before you serve don't uh, serve it straight away it's not going to be formed nicely 
slowly keep folding keep folding this is such an easy recipe you don't need any egg I like the Marvel effect, such a nice Marvel effect. If I go a dark chocolate, not milk one, then the color would be more nicer. Uh, this color came because of the, uh, I got a milk chocolate, not dark chocolate. If you want a dark chocolate mousse color, then you can use um, dark chocolate. Don't go for the milk chocolate because I'm using milk chocolate. That's why um, it is this color. But if you are using dark chocolate, that color will be really a little bit more darker. And when you adding your chocolate, make sure your chocolate is not too hot. If your chocolate is hot, your um, cream will be melt. So make sure your chocolate is uh, not hot at all. So I'm happy about the thickness of my cream and everything. So it's look nice, it's thickness is fine. So now I need a piping bag. A piping bag put you can keep this um, front uh, plane or if you want you can do some kind of patterns it's up to you these very small glasses these glasses very small uh, if you want you can use a little bit bigger it's optional it's up to you what you're using So I'm gonna um, keep my mousse overnight in the fridge and that will set really, really nicely. If you're using a piping bag with, with the nice uh, nozzles, it's going to be like this design. And I like this design, it look nice. I like this design, how nicely it looks like a rose. That's why I'm using the design. But if you want, you can use simple, plain one. Glass are short glasses because I'm making other dessert uh, as well. And I don't want two big pots. Because a lot of time I did see when you were making few dessert, people don't like to have um, all. Uh, they like to have small portion of wool each. I bought this um, piping bag and the um, design um, from eBay. It's a big, big one. It's not small. I don't have any chocolate uh, left. Otherwise, I could done little bit chocolate here, then cream mousse, then little bit chocolate, then mousse. It would be look really nice. In the melted uh, chocolate, what I done. I could, if I have more, I could turn the layers. This is the final look of my chocolate mousse. Um, I garnish with some ferrochi and mint leaf to look good. So this is my chocolate mousse. These glasses are very short, so I could make 
13 of these um, uh, small glasses uh, mousse with one um, can of those 285 uh, ml of um, cream. So I hope you like this recipe. Same recipe, same ingredient, everything. I done the um, mango one the other day. And you can garnish and decorate your mousse however you want. I just put, I keep it simple and look nice. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum.